Hello guys and welcome back to another video here today at the Startup Brain TV, the platform to help you boss up and create more wealth for yourself. Now, if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about business, entrepreneurship, and starting an online business. So if you're interested in all that type of content, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button because that's the only way you will be notified each time I release a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about wholesale if it's best to purchase wholesale from your local vendors or to look into purchasing wholesale from China which is one of the largest places to buy wholesale inventory in pretty much any nature okay so if you're interested in finding out if it's best to buy wholesale locally or it's best to go to China or purchase directly from China then this video is for you so you better stay tuned and watch this video till the end purchasing wholesale locally when I talk about locally I'm referring to your local geographical area so I'm in the UK for example so locally for me will be UK based wholesale vendors if you're based in the United States then I'm talking about USA based wholesale vendors okay so is it best to source wholesale inventory locally or buy wholesale inventory from China? Now, in order to help you answer that question, we're going to be looking at the sort of pros and cons of sourcing locally versus sourcing internationally. Now, one of the good things about sourcing locally is the fact that you actually have the opportunity to visit those vendors if they have stores or even warehouses. You can actually visit those vendors and see what the quality of your products look like before you purchase from them. So you get to feel the quality, see the quality, you get to communicate directly with that wholesale vendor face to face and call them up if you want. But of course you have that option to actually go to the premises and see what this product um, look like in real life versus looking at the products online and not being sure what the real value and quality of the products look like, okay? So that's one advantage of purchasing locally. You, you can even meet these local wholesalers in platforms such as trade shows where a lot of wholesale vendors come together to collaborate and pretty much sell themselves. So you can use those avenues to meet these local wholesale vendors directly communicate with them, find out what their prices are, find out what their processes are, do they offer drop shipping? for example, you can pretty much ask them any questions you have about the products face to face, okay? And you get to see what some of those products look like because they usually come to the shows with samples of what your products are and you can use that as an opportunity to decide on which products you would love to purchase wholesale as well. So another pro of purchasing wholesale locally is the fact that most of the products tend to be of great quality. Now, a lot of products that are made in China usually they do not meet certain quality requirements because they can get away with that. But if you're manufacturing a product in the United States or the UK, there's certain quality requirements that and requirements and legislations that are pretty tighter, which means that you need to adhere to these legislations in order for your products to meet a certain standard and quality. Ultimately, this means that products are likely to be of higher quality because you need to pretty much tick all the boxes, whereas most products made in China tend to skip a lot of these products and quality checks and they can get away with mass producing a lot of products that are likely going to be of low quality. Whereas if the products are made in the USA or they're made in the UK, there's a high possibility that those products will be of higher quality. Of course, I'm not saying all products that come from China are crap quality. There's good quality products too that come from China, but you have to dig deep and do your research right to get those products. You also need to be careful with some wholesale vendors in your local area that sell products that were made in China. Just because you're buying from a local vendor, it doesn't guarantee that the products will be of good quality because some local vendors to purchase products from China and then resell it to you at a higher retail price. So you need to be sure where these products were made, where they're coming from, do they do these wholesale vendors have their own manufacturing factories? If they don't have a factory then they're just reselling to you as well. You may as well just go straight to the source, okay? So unless a wholesale vendor has a manufacturing company, I'm talking they have a factory that you can see where they manufacture your products, they have staff working there that they actually pay locally, then they're probably just buying these products from China and reselling them to you at a higher wholesale slash retail price, okay? So buying wholesale locally doesn't always guarantee the perfect quality product because some products that are sold locally 
still come from China. Another pro of buying wholesale locally is the fact that shipping times are usually faster, especially if you want to do things like drop shipping. Because of course, if your supplier is based in your country, then it will be easier for your customers to get their products overnight pretty much okay they can get priority shipping if that's an option with a vendor you can also get your wholesale inventory pretty fast because they're based in your local area and if there's anything wrong with your inventory it's easy for you to pick up the phone you know or go straight to the premises and complain about those products so that's another advantage of purchasing products locally now we've talked about some of the pros of purchasing wholesale locally let's also look at the cons now the first con of course is the fact that the inventory will usually be more expensive if you're purchasing locally so when you're buying wholesale locally of course like i mentioned before most of the products tend to be made within the country meaning that overhead costs are usually going to be higher because things like minimum wage needs needs to be met um the workers working in the factory need to be paid at least minimum wage essentially the cost of the products will be higher in comparison to purchasing those wholesale products from china and even the local wholesale vendors that purchase from China. Sometimes they have to pay things like import taxes, which again incorporates in their overhead costs, meaning they're likely to charge you a higher price as well if they previously bought from China and they're trying to resell it to you because they're just trying to break even. That's just business, okay? So that's one thing to be watchful for if you want to buy wholesale locally. Another disadvantage of buying from local wholesale vendors is the fact that there's not enough variety. So a lot of wholesale vendors are usually limited in terms of styles and designs that they have. And um, whereas when you're buying from China there's so many different trendy styles and outfits that you can choose from um, you know which is one thing that most local wholesale vendors do not have they're quite they usually tend to be limited because they just don't have that access to mass produce a lot of products that meet standard qualities okay as compared in comparison to China that can bypass a lot of those laws and legislations meaning they can they can massively produce fast fashion products and that's why it's easy for you to go on AliExpress and find a lot of knockoff products of you know Gucci Chanel because they can easily do that and get away with it okay whereas if that was done here in the uk or the united states or other parts of the world you will be ending up with some legal issues okay so there you go um again variety is quite difficult when it comes to sourcing locally because again you're limited and a lot of wholesale vendors from my experience anyway usually tend to have i would say boring products yeah they tend to have boring products um i feel like they don't have a lot of variety they're selling old school type products basic products let's put it that way they're selling basic products that you know i don't really want to sell on my website because people can easily go to forever 21 they can go to um h m and purchase these products from them i want to sell products that stand out i want to sell products that wow people products that they cannot find in the uk and then they want to buy from me okay but that's just my brand and that's just my store i don't want to sell boring products that every other retailer around my area sells okay and this is one issue a lot of local wholesalers have they're not really selling the latest, trendiest type products. In most cases, um, quote me if I'm wrong, in most cases, a majority of them don't sell the latest, trendiest, you know, cooler, nicer looking products that will wow people. You know, you want to sell products that are going to get people asking, wow, where did you get that dress from? I've never seen it around. I've looked all over, you know, Edinburgh. I've looked all over my town and I can't find this outfit. Where did you buy it from? Now, those are the type of products you want to sell in your online store, products that are not being sold by every other retailer and their mother and their grandma and their granddad and their cat and their dogs. You want to sell products that nobody else is selling around you because then it's going to get people asking where you got them from and that's where you come in at. Another um, con of sourcing locally is the fact that it's a lot more competitive because you want to start an online store and you know there's local hold and there's probably three local wholesale vendors in your local area. Now there's 10 other people and their mothers and their fathers and their grandmas and their grandpas that want to start an online store in your local area and you're all running to that same wholesale vendor or the three wholesale vendors you've got in your area purchasing similar products from these wholesale vendors, opening your online boutiques or your brick and mortar stores and trying to resell the similar products you're essentially competing with all these other people in your area trying to sell the same products from the same vendor because you're all running to buy products from the same suppliers okay so that's one thing you need to be wary of um, if you're going to purchase products locally from your local vendor and um, which is usually the easiest option because you can see these products and it's usually the safest option as well there's a high chance that a lot of other people around your area are running to those same wholesale vendors to purchase those same products and essentially compete with you competition is not a bad thing but if 
I have 10 different people selling the same product for the same for similar prices then I will essentially end up purchasing the cheapest product that I, that I can get okay and this usually results in things like price wars where you now start competing for price so when you're purchasing wholesale locally be rest assured that there's going to be other people around your local area who will maybe wanting to start a boutique that are also running to this same wholesale vendors to purchase products from them and you could end up selling similar products so these are the pros and cons of purchasing wholesale locally now let's talk about purchasing wholesale from China now the pros of purchasing wholesale from China are obviously the cons of purchasing wholesale locally so first of all when you're purchasing wholesale from China you're likely to get more variety like I previously mentioned when you visit a lot of this wholesale Chinese websites they have amazing designs okay they, they don't always meet quality to be honest with some of them but there's some good Chinese vendors out there that sell amazing quality products if you do your research right like I always say um, so you can definitely get some good trendy amazing wow type products when you buy when you buy from China and these are products that are not being sold by your local vendors or everyone else around you because guess what nobody wants to take the risk of buying from China because they're thinking if this product is not good quality there's no way I can send these products back to China and some people just don't want to deal with the aspect of products coming from China so yeah another pro is it's usually cheaper buying from China directly um, as opposed to buying from a local wholesale vendor because you have a lot of variety buying from China it means competition will be less it means you're not trying to resell the same product that every wholesale vendor in your local area is selling to everybody else because you've taken that extra step to go to China and purchase products directly from them to resell in your store which makes you stand out from everyone else in your local area okay now we've talked about the pros of buying from China which is all about variety purchasing at a lower price and having more options and less competition from all the local boutique owners in your area. The cons of course is the fact that quality is always a hit or miss. You could end up with the best products or you could end up with the worst quality products. You're not able to physically see, feel and touch these products yourself unless you're willing to book a flight and head over to China and work directly with the factory where you can see what these products look like and you can even decide on what designs you want you're pretty much going to be gambling in terms of the quality of the products okay because you don't know what they're gonna come looking like they're not accessible to you and if you want to return these products good luck sending these products back to China it's almost impossible and it's probably gonna cost you more sending them back than it costed you to ship to get those products in the first place so accessibility is another issue with buying from China or buying internationally as a whole so in my opinion these are the sort of pros and cons of buying wholesale locally versus buying wholesale internationally so what's the best option for you so the decision to purchase wholesale locally versus in China would depend on a lot of different factors it's all down to the type of products you sell what your brand represents um, how much money you've got available what type of prices you want to charge for your products what type of customers are you targeting are there people that are willing to spend on the higher side or are they just people who will be willing to spend at a normal sort of fashion over price what type of styles and designs you're seeking for um, all of those factors are key to purchasing locally or internationally so it's really down to you and your business and what type of products you want to sell and um, your price point um, how much capital you have ready to invest what risks are you willing to take um, and really what type of styles you want to purchase and if your local vendors really have those products available if they don't have that then you may want to look um, deeper and look you may want to go internationally maybe travel to China or travel to other sort of you know more affordable countries that can produce these products for you at cheaper prices so it's really down to you your brand your brand message the type of products you want to sell i'm not going to tell you it's best to purchase locally or internationally because they all have pros and cons as i've clearly mentioned in this video so really dig deep but one thing i'm going to tell you and one thing i'm going to advise is not to rush the process of buying wholesale buying wholesale is expensive and when you purchase so much inventory in bulk it can be pretty difficult returning those products back to your vendor be it purchase look be it local or internationally you're still gonna have to pay a lot of money to send those products back to the vendors so you really need to be careful and you really need to take your time and when it comes to buying wholesale don't rush the process because a lot of people get excited and when they see wholesale inventory they feel like they're shopping for themselves they end up purchasing all this inventory because they love it or because it's trendy and in the next season nobody wants to buy those products and you're stuck with a garage 
worth of thousands of thousands of dollars worth of products that have just not sold for you so don't rush the wholesale process and before you purchase anything wholesale always ask yourself the question if this product doesn't sell do I have an exit strategy what am I going to do with this inventory if it doesn't sell always think further ahead don't just sit and think that the products will sell because you love the products because that's just business I have a lot of wholesale products that I've had to pretty much give out some for free and even sell some on eBay at lower than cost price to get rid of them so make sure you always do your research before you purchase wholesale inventory um, I actually have a wholesale vendor review series that I released in my channel on Thursday I haven't done one in a while and I will be bringing them back shortly and um, I've got around eight videos so far you can go check them out I'll leave a link below this video you can go check them out I actually review a few wholesale and dropshipping clothing vendors that you can use for your online store so check them out and see if they resonate with your brand of course I can only review a few of the products and um, it's up to you to do your own research and make sure you proceed with caution and if you're looking for a list of over 120 plus wholesalers and dropshipping vendors that you can try out for your business there's going to be a link below this video that can take you straight to purchase that vendor list again if you're interested in starting your own online store and you're not sure how to get started be free to check out the wrong boutique academy where i go more in depth i teach you step by step how to get started it's a seven month program and you can get started anytime from anywhere in the world from launching your online boutique all the way to marketing your business Business, running your business and so many amazing business templates to help you with the running of your day-to-day -day business and it's got an amazing community within the platform to help you whenever you feel stuck I'm going to leave the link down below to the wrong boutique Academy if you're interested in starting your own online store and of course you can check out our Facebook group which is close to a thousand members at the moment you can join that group for free I'll leave a link below this video and you can check it out engage with other online boutique owners and ask any questions you've got as well so thank you once again for watching this video and of course if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up hit that red subscribe button down below if you love this type of content don't forget to hit the bell notification button because that's the only way you'll be notified each time I release a new video and leave your comments down below if you are an online boutique owner do you buy wholesale locally or internationally from China and I look forward to catching up with you guys next week for another business video bye for now